we are in one of our favourite places, the North Shore of Oahu. This is our fourth visit here and we absolutely love it. I don't know why, just everything. <laughs> but we are going to take you along today for what our perfect North Shore day would look like. First stop, an iconic Hawaii breakfast, acai bowls. The best way to get around, I think, is by hiring a car. There is um, like a local bus, but it would be very difficult to get to as many places as you would want to, especially if you only had one day. So highly recommend hiring a car. If you're staying in Honolulu for your trip, you can hire a car pretty easily just for a day. Obviously for Australians and people from um, <laughs> places where you drive on the other side of the road, it is a bit of a challenge, but. I'm uh, used to it now. I've yeah. gotten pretty com comfortable with it. We, the mantra that I use is that I've just got to be in the middle. As long yeah. as I'm in the middle of the road, yes. I'm all good. There are also day trips that you can do from um, like Honolulu, Waikiki that come out to the North Shore. But I think if you are able to hire a car, you're going to have a better experience because all of those tour groups seem to go to the same places. We see them <laughs> parked around as we're driving around. And you can kind of go to a few more maybe off the beaten track places that we're going to show you today. I will also say with the driving, if you're worried about driving in the US, Hawaii is like a good introduction. <laughs> You, because, 101. <laughs> yeah, especially <laughs> once like, you get out of Honolulu. Yeah, especially the yeah. North Shore side. Mm -hmm. It's one lane. Mm -hmm. you're, you're pretty much driving not that fast, like 35 miles an hour, which maybe is 65, 70 kilometers an hour. You're not going crazy fast. Um, and everyone's pretty respectful from what I can tell with the driving. So if you were worried, Hawaii is a good introduction, I think. Also, uh, we would recommend if you're coming up here and you're able to plan it on a weekday rather than a weekend, you're going to just have probably a slightly better experience because, there's, you know, on the weekends you also got tourists and all the local, you know, a lot of local residents. The small blue magic bowl. Do you want peanut butter? Yes, as well? please. We'll yeah. Peanut butter to that as well. Yeah. Ah, that's it, thanks. Okay, we just went to Haliaver Bowls, obviously in Haliaver. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying it right. This is a mana bowl. It's just acai with all of the toppings. We added peanut butter. Oh yeah, there it is. Peanut butter. There was granola, banana, strawberry, blueberries. So I'll just see if I can get, oh, Erica will like the granola because it's crunchy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the other one we got, this one's pretty cool. Blue Magic. Also, granola, we added peanut butter again. It has bee pollen on the top um, and the strawberries and whatnot. I want to actually get, so is it like a blueberry or something? I didn't get any, all I got was peanut butter then. Oh. Erica just said it's pineapple and spirulina. You can definitely taste the pineapple. It's really nice. I just wanted to show you. For those who don't know, my name's Danielle. Most people call me Dan, but when I'm out and about giving my name, I say Danielle because of the way I look, it confuses people. Anyway, so I had to give my name and this is how they've done it. Danny like the boys, D-A-N-N-Y, with an E-L on the end. And part of that is because in the US, they say Danielle, they don't put like the Danny, like I put the E in between. Anyway, we say Danielle, they say Danielle. It gets confusing, obviously. But that's the weirdest I think I've ever seen my name spelt. I usually get Daniel, like yesterday I got Daniel. 
even though okay yesterday we went to a food truck for dinner and I did it all online they didn't see me at all and then they said the name Daniel so I wrote Danielle in the thing they never saw me and they still said Daniel I don't know So after Brecky we had a wander around Haliava. They have a lot of little kind of boutiques and souvenir sort of shops there that are nice to have a look in if you're on holidays. And about 45 surf shops. A lot of like yeah. a rip curl, you know, obviously. <laughs> we just got changed into our swimmers because we're going to go for a snorkel this morning. It has come over a little bit cloudy and it's raining a little bit but we're not going to let that stop us once you're in the water you're going to be wet anyway so we actually had snorkeling equipment at our airbnb so we're just going to use that there wasn't any um flippers or fins but there's like a mask and a snorkel so we'll be fine if you want you can actually hire snorkeling equipment or like rent it um, at Sharks Cove um, and I assume there's places in Haliava to do it as well also um, if what we've done before is there's a Foodland supermarket pretty much across the road from where we like to go snorkeling and you can buy a set there for sort of you know 20 to 30 dollars which could be equivalent to renting it as well um, so that's probably some options as far as renting snorkeling equipment. We are headed towards Three Tables Shark Cove, which is in Pupu Kea. Um, that's one of our favourite places to snorkel on the North Shore. Um, we've seen a lot of people snorkeling at the Turtle Beach. I'm not going to attempt to say the name. <laughs> um, also people snorkel at Waimea Bay as well. People um, snorkel anywhere, basically. Yeah, people were even snorkeling <laughs> at, at Sunset, Sunset Beach. <laughs> so You can snorkel wherever you like. I like Three Tables because it's also just a really nice beach as well. Would you agree? Yeah. And it's very, you know, it's nice. You just walk in. It's nice sandy entrance and everything. So that is where we're headed today. It's a little bit choppy. choppy and the water's definitely not as clear as other days that we've been in but there's heaps of different fish. It's very cool seeing them. Oh, it's a bit choppy but even without fins it's fine. I was a bit worried about not having fins um, but there's heaps of fish. Not a lot of coral but a little bit um, but it's been pretty nice. After our swim we are now going to have lunch we've been having lunch at food trucks also we've been having our dinner at food trucks <laughs> <laughs> pretty much every meal at a food truck <laughs> hawaii has a um big food truck kind of scene especially yeah. on the north shore yes and there's heaps around Haliava. there's some at sharks cove there's like a little group of them we're at the kahuku sugar mill but there's also ones just dotted all, all around, around the, place. the place yeah some of our favourites have been, my, my favourite's probably been Rye's Pokey Shack. Um, highly recommend getting the Pokey Nachos at least once because it's just really delicious combo of like Pokey and corn chips, but all of their Pokey is delicious. 
We also had burgers from Seven Brothers, which was really, really good. And number one, Haliaba number one or something yes. in Haliaba, they have Pokey Japanese. and Japanese. Yeah. I yeah. had karage, Erica had um, tonkatsu and pokey and really, really, really good. Today we're trying somewhere that we haven't had tried before. It's called The Bald Guys. Kind of a famous one from a Netflix TV show. Street so. Foods USA. I think that's where we <laughs> found it anyway. We actually ordered online. So probably a good tip. If you have internet, check if you can order ahead because there tends to be usually a long wait even to order and then a long time for your order to come. So if you can do that, highly recommend. All right, so I got like a Colby beef Chinese sausage fried rice. I did add eggs, but apparently there's no eggs there out of eggs. So um, this is what I've got. I'm going to try some. We were just going to mention as well, if you are able to check on like social media, so Instagram, Facebook, when the food trucks are open because they're closed on random days <laughs> like i just went up to rise pokey shack and they're closed the ball guy was Tuesday. closed on sunday yeah. so yeah it's been a bit all over the place oh the beef's delicious it's like a it's rib really or something soft. is it mm. right but it's like not chewy at all just kind of melts as you bite into it even you would like it and you're not like a beef <laughs> kind of fan that's yummy Oh, <laughs> you got a leaf. Bonus leaf. <laughs> and I got oh, the furikake crusted it salmon. And I went with the spicy aioli. It looks really red. Spicy. So I'm hoping I don't regret that decision. But it looks delicious. I'm sure I've got my own fork here, Dan. Thanks anyway. It's weird. This is like a Hawaiian thing, like a pasta salad. Comes with everything. <laughs> smells really good. I think Erica um, went spicy aioli, so I don't eat any of it. No, I didn't. <laughs> mm. No, it's not too spicy. No, it's nice. I wouldn't say I'm getting a lot of the furikake. I expected to be able to kind of see it a bit more. But, yeah, delicious. That was really delicious, but it was quite a lot. Um, I'm just going to take this back. Um, it even says on the uh, thing that you can microwave them in this. So I will just heat um, it back up a little bit later or tomorrow or something. Um, after lunch, we just normally go back to the Airbnb, hang out for a couple of hours, watch something on Netflix or whatever. We're currently watching something really bad on Netflix that I won't talk about. <laughs> it's like bad reality TV, but it was kind of what we wanted. We didn't want to sink into a new kind of full-on show. So we're just going to go back and hang out at the Airbnb for a bit. Okay, for our good afternoon refreshing treat on this hot day, we have come to Cooler Shave Ice. It, we came here the other day and it's really delicious. The thing I like about it is that all of their um, kind of syrups and everything, they make them, them, they make them themselves here from like actual fresh fruit. There's no like artificial colors flavors whatever so that's kind of cool because you see a lot of shave ice that's really fluoro colored <laughs> i'm not mean to that but this place looks really good and we have the lily koi dreamsicle which i highly recommend so this is 
vanilla ice cream, coconut on top, and lily koi or passion fruit. It tastes like a frosty fruit. It's really, really, really good. We like to go for another swim later in the afternoon because it tends to be a little bit quieter, like maybe some families and stuff have headed home. Um, and also it's just nicer because it's not quite as hot in the sun so you can sort of enjoy it. So we like to go for a swim and perhaps have a read of a book or listen to a podcast. Um, now there are loads of beaches, obviously we're on an island. <laughs> um, some of the popular ones are Sunset Beach um, or I don't, I, what people know it as Turtle Beach, which is where quite often you'll see cars pulled over and there's turtles come up onto the sand to kind of warm themselves and you can see them in the water as well. Some of the other beaches we like are um, Pupu Kea, Three Tables, and um, our absolute favourite is Waimea Bay. We are going to try and see if we can get there now. Um, hopefully we're just timing it just right so that we can get a park reasonably close and not have to walk too far. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful. It's honestly my happy place. It just has beautiful crystal clear water and you quite often see turtles there just swimming around which is very cool i will say it is very dependent on the time of year so Correct. Oh, this <laughs> north point. shore is um really known for big waves in the winter we are here in summer so it is flat there is no waves at all at these uh -uh. beaches they are um calm as so we come yeah. in the summer <laughs> Yeah, so we're here in June, just if anyone's interested, and the temperatures have been like late 20s in the daytime. I don't know, that's Celsius. I think that's like 83. early 80s yeah. in, I just Fahrenheit. Saw it in the car before. <laughs> Fahrenheit for other people. But yes, we're off to Waimea Bay. I'm so excited. A beautiful swim I've just been sitting here reading my book it's called the heart is a star I've only just started it so there's not I don't have much of an opinion on it yet but I will always let you know if I find a good book um, anyway we are gonna go and get ready to have our dinner watching the sunset Time for dinner. Now we don't want to eat at food trucks every single meal, so we have booked um, the beach house at Turtle Bay Resort, which is um, right near where we're staying, and we can watch the sunset from here, which is kind of exciting because it's over the water, which we don't get on the east coast of Australia at all. So we just ordered some small bites. We have more than this coming, and it's quite large. Um, so this is crispy calamari, a little dipping sauce. Oh, it's crispy, all right. That's delicious. That is like really light, not chewy. The pieces are nice and small. Oh yeah, that's good. And here we have goat's cheese dip with these sweet rolls, which is not like anything I've ever seen before, so I'm kind of interested in that. Let me try. So this is like a warm dip. Mm, that's really interesting. It's really creamy. It's more savoury than what I maybe expected it to be. 
the goat's cheese is quite savoury and then the jammy stuff is sweet and the roll has a sweetness as well but it's actually more savoury than I expected but it's really good. The sunset after our lovely dinner. How's your North Shore day been? It's been really nice. I will say that goat cheese dipped in. <laughs> My favourite. <laughs> the beach house is certainly a very nice spot to watch the sunset. It has been a lovely day. Hopefully you've enjoyed coming along with us. Check out the next video for Ask Me Like Bye. Bye.